do I do with my time? I watch TV, which see Chicago's a good thing to do, so keep doing that. Uh, but you know, like you screw around, you waste time a lot and you're not creating anything. Like I feel like this would really spark creativity in my life. I'm at Lil Street Art Center in Ravenswood and I'm gonna take a screen printing class. Hey, how you doing? I'm Dawn. Hi, I'm Kate Dawn. Hey, nice to Kate. meet you, welcome. Well, tell me a little bit about Lil Street Art Center. Cause I went online and it looks like you guys have everything. I really picked this one cause I have a sense of fashion and I thought I could start learning how to screen print my own stuff. Our founder and CEO is right over there, Bruce Robbins. Oh, hey Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> and since then, We've grown into this, what you'll see today, which is basically three stories of different art classrooms and studios. And over the years, we have kind of grown to include different departments in the visual arts. Today, I signed up for screen printing. And where do I go for that? Uh, we're gonna go right this way. There's a lot of things I love about this class. First is that it says it's for first timers because I am intimidated to take a lot of these artsy, artsy classes. Hey, how are you? Good, good. how are you? Hi, class. <laughs> uh, I'm Dawn. Hi. Oh, I'm Shannon. Nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, Shannon. This is screen printing, right? It is. Yeah, you okay. can put your things up over okay. here. And this is going to be messy, too, so we have aprons and gloves ready. I need an apron. I have art. a feeling that uh, <laughs> anything that has to do with art, I'm feeling messy about it. Cool. Well, welcome everybody to class. So what we'll be doing today is screen printing on some handkerchiefs. But before we do that, we will be dyeing them. For the dyeing process, what you do with any fabric is, first of all, you'd get it wet. So you'd soak it in salt water for a few minutes. You can just put in a couple of scoops. Anybody want to stir? Or? Yeah, I do. Yes, I'm jumping right cool, in yeah. class. Yeah. I'm jumping right in. And then you'd add some something called soda ash. It helps the dye connect to the fabric. Before we put these in, we put the dye in. I think the class voted for fuchsia. That's a good so, pick. Fuchsia, right. it is. Cool. I was really shocked that the dyeing process was only two steps. Should I just do it? Totally. Even without first washing you? Like this, fold. Oh, I felt bad about that one. Okay, like this? <laughs> Wait, like this? Like this? Yeah, that's perfect. No, it's wet the material, dye it. Done. It's amazing. It went in white and now it's coming out. Fuchsia. The next process for that is you can just immediately put it in the washing machine. Take it to a laundromat or something where they have an industrial washer. Uh, so that yeah. not like all my husband's uh, t-shirts come yeah. out fuchsia. Mm. So we've cleaned up everything. We're ready for the next step, which is screen printing. For screen printing, you need to have the screen with an image burned on it. So the image could be anything you bring in or that we provide. We have a giant tanning bed for these things, basically, where you bake the image onto the screen. You put the ink on the top of the screen, about an inch above the image. You use the squeegee and you pull it towards you. I always have loved, for years, the color red and turquoise together. 45 degrees like right, this. Right, and just push it as hard as you can. As hard as I can. Mm -hmm. How cool. And then when you're done, you can just do the big, exciting reveal. Look at it! Oh, oh that looks great. Everyone, let's clap for this! Yeah. <laughs> it's so beautiful! You go into one class and you have this great experience with all the people and the rewarding project, and then you're hooked. You're hooked for life. You want to sign up for the next thing right away. Mm -hmm.